This episode was brought to you by Skillshare. Get first two months for free using a link in the description. Another Premiere Pro Secrets video? Huh? Yeah, and this one is real. Watch it and leave a comment how many out of these five you knew about. None? One? All of them? We'll see an average percentage. Now, because these are real secrets, I want to keep it that way. So don't be surprised if I whisper or just show something on the screen. Do not like, do not share this video, keep it a secret. Do I have your word? Keep your mouth shut. And if you want to click a dislike button, make sure to click it twice. Okay, come closer so no one else can hear. Come on, come on, let's cut to the point number one. I bet you know that you can use JKL shortcuts to play backward, pause and play forward respectively. That's not a secret, many people know about it. If you hit J or L twice, the speed will increase to 200% and if you hit it one more time, it will go to 400%. Now here is the thing, if you use a shortcut Shift plus J or Shift plus L, you will increase the speed by only 10%. For example, if you want to play the timeline at 120% speed, you need to hit L once and Shift plus L twice. You can display some additional information about the footage in the program monitor. Simply hit Ctrl plus Shift plus F11 and press play to activate CUDA render system. It works for OpenCL and Metal as well. It will show you, for example, how many frames are dropped and color encoding information. Although there is another way of monitoring dropped frames in program monitor and you do it by clicking on the wrench icon and choosing the dropped frame indicator. You can show the video track name in the first row of track icons. This way it will always be visible even after you press Shift plus minus to minimize all tracks. I've learned this one from Vashi from Vashi Visuals. Check out his video where he talks about it in more detail. Step 1. Right click on track area where the name should be. Step 2. Click Customize. Step 3. In button editor, grab and drag the track name button, V1, A1, etc. out of the dialog box to the end of the top row of icons where you want the name of the track to be. Do it both for a video and audio track. Before we continue with secret number 4, I would like to run a short FAQ about the sponsor of this video. What is Skillshare? It's an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. What do you get with a premium membership? Unlimited access to all of these classes that can fuel your curiosity, creativity or even career. It keeps you learning, growing as a person and thriving. How much does it cost? It's super affordable and annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. Any interesting classes you took? Oh yes! Guys from great YouTube channel Kurzgesagt have awesome three-part course on animation. Dan Mays teaches his process of editing with live sounds. And if you want to be a more productive person, then Thomas Frank has a great productivity masterclass. A Nutriel account? Yep. Because they're sponsoring this video, you can sign up with a link in the description to get first two months for free. The worst thing that can happen, you will learn something new. Okay, let's cut to the point number four. Do you want to play around a specific point on the timeline? Just hit Shift plus K. Pre-roll and post-roll time can be specified in preferences in the playback tab. If you also activate loop in the program monitor panel, it will play this portion of the timeline endlessly. Do you need more control when changing a parameter value in effects control or lumetri color panel? Use shift when dragging to go by increments of 10 or contour for precise changes with 0.1 value increments. It works for all blue values you can find. If you're new to the channel, you also need to know how to get rid of the program bar at the top, which is a secret on its own, and how to export clips on timeline as individual files. And leave that comment with the number, how many did you score? And one more thing, I was joking about this keeping secret stuff. Please leave a like, share this video, it would mean the world to me. It was Peter, see you in the next video.